The base cabinet A configurator here is one of three configurators included in the cabinet maker's package deal. You can call it the bread and butter configurator in this group in the sense that in all likelihood it'll represent about 60% of the cabinets in a commercial cabinet shop. It can be a lot of different cabinets and you'll find out more about that in the blog post this video is embedded in. I'll place one of these units in each of the exam rooms as a sink cabinet, a couple in the break room, and a few in the reception area. I'll be placing these cabinets on a per room basis, which allows me to work on each room individually. On a large job, I could have this model sitting out there on the Autodesk 360 cloud and have people work on individual rooms from anywhere in the world, or I could work on it myself from anywhere and not need to worry about having a different version of the model on my laptop. I'll demonstrate more about that in a future video. Alright, enough chatting. I'll now place the four cabinets needed in exam room 1. I'll change this unfinished end on the sink unit to a finished end using the cabinet's form. Now I'll place and constrain the rest of the cabinets and there you have it. All of the cabinets were placed and configured. They just need countertops to complete the modeling, which I'll do in another video. Thanks for stopping by. Head on over to Applied Design Intelligence and check out the blog post that this video is embedded in for a lot more information.